Today I want to show off an ML example in Dagster, and if this looks a little bit different than what you normally see from, see from me, it is because I didn't write it. This came from Jordan Voles, our head of field engineering, and a couple of things that I want to point out. So first of all, there are a number of different steps in this pipeline, and if you you have steps in ML pipeline, which you probably should, I typically throw all this just code into a notebook. Not a great idea for testing and deployment. Here we have a series of functions. You can see them over here on the right, and then they're orchestrated with this tool Dagster. So each one of these steps is separate, or each function is a, is a step in this pipeline. I'm not using quite the right terminology, but it's you know just my basic view how I'm I'm seeing it. And so in my case, when I set up Dagster and, and started to run this flow on an EC2 instance yesterday. I screwed something up, I had an issue, and one of these steps was failing, and it was really easy for me to click on an individual task, materialize it or run it, and not have to rerun everything. And then I would change something in the configuration and try again. So it was a good feedback loop. I could see the error. I knew exactly where it was in the pipeline. I'm not saying I fixed it that quickly, but nevertheless, it was a relatively pleasant experience going back and forth. And then finally, the way that Jordan built this project and something that we love at Continual is that he used dbt, and I just wanna show you this really quickly within the project itself. So we have this dbt directory, and we've got a bunch of models. So Dagster has a wonderful dbt integration. Oh, I clicked on models and that's not good. Let's jump in and take a look. Yeah, at just one of the basic models. So Dagster has this wonderful dbt integration. So we've got a source table here. The rest of that I, it does not need to be defined in dbt, and yet, Dagster will use dbt to materialize the tables and views in Snowflake. So what does this mean? It means that each step in the pipeline, we can choose to write our intermediate data, and then of course the predictions themselves, back to our data warehouse so that everyone else can use this, whether that's BI or finance or like whomever, they all have access to the data. If the data warehouse is the center of our universe, it's all there. Anyway, I just wanted to point this out. This is a much cooler project. Well, again, I didn't create it. And you'll see more stuff like this from us with other orchestration tools and other things that ML, tool, uh, ML teams actually use to get their work done.